online tutorial modules to address students to a timely adoption of an appropriate method for studying key concepts of general chemistry in an undergraduate course. General and inorganic chemistry is one of the first year, first semester subjects for many academic degree courses. In addition to the basilar concepts and numerical calculation skills that students must learn, since early time they have to adopt and to take confidence with the chemistry on language, which is based on the macro-micro relationships as well as on the symbolic method. In addition to insufficient time, the heterogeneous preliminary preparation of university of Camerino students of scientific degrees of biology and biotechnology, geology and natural science, coming from different countries and typology of Italian and foreign high school, makes it difficult to adapt the course content to their individual learning skills. On this regard, a leveling course on the right approach to study and on minimum knowledge was designed and implemented on the Unicam eLearning Moodle platform according to the fact that video tutorials in university chemistry courses have already been experimented in different contexts with satisfactory results in terms of motivation and better achievements at the final test when compared to a control group. The analysis of the learning analytics derived from the Moodle platform provides a first representation of students' use of the materials that will be integrated by a questionnaire on the students' perceptions and satisfaction concerning the use of the resources. The general and inorganic chemistry course starts in the first year, first semester of the international degree courses. The students come from different countries and, as a consequence, they have an heterogeneous background preparation. 183 students of both degree courses were enrolled on the platform and 108 of them use it in preparation for the test. An initial test of 30 items was administered to students to assess their previous knowledge of general and inorganic chemistry and to identify the most challenging topics. The results of the test showed that the greatest percentage of students got a score between 14 and 20, with few excellences but none below the 8 points. The procedure of the online tutoring course design was carried out following five steps. Identification of the most difficult topics dealt with in the first part of the general chemistry course, definition of the general structure of the tutoring course on the Moodle platform, preparation of the seven modules, opening of the platform to the students, analysis and evaluation of the frequency data and visualization of the contents of the modules. The key strength of online tutoring is that students can choose timing and style of their learning and can focus on their individual difficulties. The structure of each course includes three interactive forums, a news forum for general notices, a technical forum for technical problems and an interaction forum with the course tutor and the professor for further clarifications on the topics of the modules or support for the solution of the exercises. A prerequisite section with reference materials on some preparatory material for the course have been added as well as seven modules uh, with the topics of the first part of the course and a final text regarding the topics of the course has been included on the platform in six different versions consisting of 24 multiple choice questions with a final grade equal to 30. The test was performed by the students on the same day in the classroom with mobile devices and had a maximum duration of 75 minutes. Finally, a survey questionnaire consisting of 37 questions and divided into four parts has been added to the platform to test the student's perception and satisfaction with the new tutoring course. 
The main purpose of the modules is to provide support for the solution of some stoichiometric exercises that the initial test identified as most challenging for the students. We follow Johnston model, who since 1991 underlined how the learning of chemical concepts requires the interlinked knowledge of the relationships between the three aspects, macro, micro and representative. The module includes all three levels of representation in chemistry. The macroscopic level is presented with a video clip which allows students to observe the experiment linked to the exercise and carried out in the laboratory, often supplied by graphics or animation that instead show its submicroscopic level. The symbolic level is represented by a video tutorial showing the step-by-step -step solution of an assigned exercise. Here it is shown how the net ionic equation for an acid-base reaction module is organized on the platform with the different section. The core of the module is a video tutorial based on voice and and writing similar to traditional tutoring and targeting students with different entry levels of knowledge and skills. Video tutorials do not simply show the solution to the assigned exercise but they integrate key information on the method of analysis and solution of the different steps as well as theoretical references. The goal is to make the student able to apply the same solution to similar cases once they have mastered the required skills. Each module is enriched with a background knowledge file which shows the prerequisites needed to solve the assignment, a file called Overview of the Exercise's Resolution Steps summarizing the steps for the solution of the exercise, and a set of materials of further help to understand the topics usually found on the web. Finally, an exercise consisting of 10 multiple choice items has been included, which allows students to apply what has been learned through the video, tutorial and the other materials included in the module. The analysis of the first data extracted from the Moodle platform uh, total time spent in the learning environment and preferences in the use of different materials and tools provides an interesting information about students' behavior in the use of the online tutorial modules. In the figure we report the total time spent by the students on the platform classified in different sequential ranges of hours. So, the result is that among the 108 students, 42 students have spent from 1 to 5 hours in the platform, while a satisfactory number of 48 students spent between 5 to 15 hours in the platform, which can be considered an appropriate average time to conduct all the activities. Instead, 18 students less than 20% spent online more than 15 hours, which can be ascribed to experiencing difficulties of different possible origins in concluding the activities. In Figure 4, the total number of students who have done the different activities to complete the seven modules of the course is reported with the detail of the number of students doing a given activity per each module, represented with a specific color code. With the exception of Module 1, in the other modules the activity on the background materials and the video tutorial have been used by an almost equal and large enough number of students. The other activities are used almost uniformly by the students for modules from 1 to 4, while for the last modules from 5 to 7 the usage of these activities does not indicate a regular behavior or a distribution from which meaningful information could be extracted. In all the modules, the multiple choice questions has been the most used activity. Probably it depends on students' overvaluation of the knowledge and skills that drives them to immediately afford the multiple choice test before studying other materials. However, good average success in some cases indicates that few frequentations of the platform offer the basis for further study on the book. 
being optional the use of the resources and activities desired in the Moodle platform, the analysis of the above data allows us to highlight the big interest of the students about the tutorial modules. The first partial results of the questionnaires on students' perception and satisfaction concerning the use of the resources confirm the validity of the project, while suggesting areas of possible implementation of the research. Cross-analysis of data and final exam results, increasing the number of tutorials and synchronization of materials with the course in other topics, increasing the degree of difficulty of the topics already dealt with. Here we show some references and thank you for your attention.